Monica and Val Ramba. Again, we in that sort of, maybe I'm just a regular dude watching ESPN and, you know, I love sports and that's my go-to and, you know, we have these sort of fantasy league. I wonder if there's a fantasy league in Dancing with the Stars. I think we should start one. Hey, do you think we should start Dancing with the Stars Fantasy League? Absolutely not. We should not do that. If I were to bet, and I bet today a couple of times, and I was wrong a couple of times, but I'm not going to be wrong right now. I'm not going to be denied this bet. Monica and Val Ramba, I bet that this is going to be a great performance. I'm full transparency, don't know, didn't see. I bet this is going to be a great performance. Here's why. Here's my reasoning. I now know how Monica moves. She started to understand herself. And in the later weeks, she started to understand her body. And I think what's even more important is that my man Val started to understand her, Monica's body and Monica's, you know, pluses and minuses and have experimented with enough movement to know what makes her look great? Monica and Val Rumba. Let's go. Don't let Dancing me the Rumba down. With her partner Val, it's Monica Aldama. Yes, so let's go. Have I told you lately oh, he's going to sing in her ear and everything. Good line. Let's go with the opening out. Yes. Hey, nice. Clean. Let's go with those rondes and hip action and lines. Of course, he's going to smile straight into camera like he's looking in my soul and he's doing a basic, basic rumba action. Let's go. Oh, nice. Why, thank you for I wow would you look at that I, I mean I want to give it a nine I'm gonna give it a nine look I gave out one two three four five six nines today what's wrong with you max not one eight three sixes and a seven and a bunch of nines you know what Yes, this is a nine. Look, Monica is, is clearly missing on some movement. I get it though, I get it. I get where, where, where her background is. I get where she comes from. You know, the background is to stick it, stick the pose, 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 trick, pose, whatever. So it's very, you know, it's very gymnastics. Right? Tumbling and all that. I might be off, by the way. Please, don't, don't judge me. I'm, I don't want to get into an argument about any of this stuff. I'm just saying that that's just my perception is that Monica comes from gymnastics. And, uh, you know, and dance is what happens between the stops. Right? It's what happens between the steps. We are not only focusing on step, step, step. We're focusing on step and the movement into the next step and the movement into the next step and the movement into the next and the movement into the spin and movement out of the spin and into the launch and you get my point so dancing is what happens between steps monica spent most of her life doing the complete opposite she spent most of her life doing steps and She's approaching, at, but you know, everything in her is approaching this activity the same way. And for the last six weeks, I think Val 
was forcing the understanding of movement between steps. And there was attempt at it, and it worked in rumba. Slower dance requires different things. It re requires standing and stretching. She did. It was great. It requires lines. She did. They were great. It requires presentation. It, there was. It was great. It requires hip action. There was. Not enough. But there was enough rumba that I can recognize and there was enough attempt at rumba that would have been 10 eventually. So for today, I want to give it a 9 because there's not enough for me not to. But I'm also worried about Monica moving forward if she's going to keep getting dances that need to be, need to have more movement. So for me, let's go back for one second because we can, because we're not live, because it's my show. Monica did a tango. She did a samba. She did a Vini's Walls. A jive, and I don't remember what she did on the first show. I didn't write it down. But it doesn't matter. I think the next dance, I think, I think a dance that will be great for Monica is probably some kind of a pasta doble, some kind of an Argentine tango. Yeah. I think those would be great because they're very staccato and she can get away with a pose, 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 pose. Dun -tur -dun -tur -dun -tur -dun -tur -dun, you know, that type of stuff. Still get away with it. I think there's, I think we're going to, I think we're going to see Monica for a while, longer, at least. Because I see that there are a couple of dances in their future that they can pull off that are, that are going to be great. 